So today we're going to be replacing the hard drive from the Lorex DVR. So what you do, you take all your screws. The, usually the indentated uh, holes where the screws are are usually the ones they're telling you that these are the ones that hold the case. That's what that te technically means on most things. Except for like those, cause but but those are obviously they're from the inside. So, but yeah. So, anytime you see a case with inundated things there and that there's screws, uh, with screws holding up a case, or and, and then uh, your corner screws, those are pretty obvious. It those are, and then you have your, your you're always gonna have some on the side too. And once you get those babies, you know, so all of the screws are the same size except for the the last the little one right there. But other than that, I love them. So you open it up. If you want to remove the cable clips, you can remove it. And now you can leave it. In this case, I don't need to remove it. Let's, let's put it. Let's, uh, hold it a little bit. So, um, and then uh, I already took out the hard drive, the old one. So the new one, just going to be the same thing. Taking it off and putting it in. So. Put it there. Hold up. So first, you see these screws over here? They're slide on screws. So, just to uh, facilitate. What the? There's just no way all this hard drives, all the power where it's universal. So this first two hole two screws. Do you see those little holes? They go in there. This is your serial ATA, to your serial connector, and this is your power source, to your power source. Back in the days, we used to have a IDE, IDE connectors, no serial. See this, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's fairly new, but not too new. It's at least 15, no, like 20 years old. This, but before then, when I used to work at the computer shop, we used to have IDE. IDE would literally take up the whole, the whole back of it, and it's just a bunch of little pins with the and the cables like this big. So when you open up your computer and you see one that's like that, like to your CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, that's your IDE. That's how they used to be. But um, yeah, this serial serial uh, changed the way. So then all you do, you just finish up the screws back here. And you add two more here or there, and then those two you tighten this up, and then uh, you just close back the case and you just uh, put the screws back the way you took them off. Pretty easy. And then uh, stay tuned for the test run. So I'm literally about to uh, finish screwing in the, the screws. So I just got three remainders of those, and then uh, I did, I started. Uh, Paying attention because you know I'm getting closer to the one, the, the main one, the little one right there. I left it right here. I left it right here just like I left this one over here. So, um, however, it vanished. It vanished. I guess it does not want to be there anymore. I guess it's either it's too good for all the others or it just, I don't know, but it's gone. But those are still there. So um, for some reason, it did not like. So I left the two screws. The the must have been here and here. However, let me see if I can see the light. It does not like. I don't know if you can see. So it's the the hard drive to slice in. I don't know, I guess that, that, that particular hardware doesn't have the little extra holes right there. But um, let's see, that's my logical explanation. Nope, same thing. So I don't know, 
I don't know. Um, I mean, they came from there, but now they don't go. They won't go in. It hits. It hits right there. So, other than those, the one that that ended up missing got up and it ran. It went and it hide and it's gone forever. Um, but yeah, I ended up with two extra ones. But uh, unfortunately, I cannot use it for that one. It's the only special one. But it's okay. Special. So here we go. Just powered it up. Well, for starters, you could hear the difference. You hear that? Look, listen. You hear it? You hear it? Exactly. That's how it should sound. That, that's the hard drive. That's at its loudest. But when it's broken, like it's playing drums. So yeah, it boot up. We're good. Problem solved.